Thanks for checking out this unboxing video and uh, hopefully things are better quality wise than the last one because I'm you know, getting used to this uh, new laptop and everything. Um, I have an adapter so my uh, external microphone, USB microphone, is working at the moment so the audio should be better at the least. I'm using a mixture of indoor and outdoor light, just letting some natural light come in and diffuse things. So hopefully it looks good, it looks brighter than the last one, but we'll see. Anyway, February BAM box. Uh, always, always, always looking super forward to BAM box because they do a lot of fun stuff. The celebrity autographs are always one of my favorite things. Um, also the pins are amazing, the art prints are outstanding, etc, etc. It's a really good box in general, so I'm always very excited to get it. This month's um, theme was the 90s which I can definitely relate to because I grew up uh, the majority of my time as a child was in the 90s, you know, like uh, mainly middle school through high school was the 90s. So did I say 80s before? I meant 90s. But um, yeah, middle, through, middle school through high school, 90s. So I remember a lot about the 90s and was very influenced by what was going on then. So it was said that in everyone's band box for this month that you would get a signed item by a actor from the 90s. So I'm assuming that means multiples, like a chance to get one or the other, or maybe there's more than two, I don't know. But anyway, we're gonna open this up, use our oop, trusty little whoop, throwing knife uh, letter openers that, you know, I should cut away from me. Don't wanna cut myself. Everyone remember that, don't cut towards yourself, it's not smart. I almost made a big mistake. So we're gonna check this out. Oh, oh, they have tissue paper this time. That's exciting for my cat. Man, she loves it when I get the tissue paper. It's a nice piece too. There you go, Chloe. Go forth and have fun. Oh, there's some extra stuff. There's some interesting shaped things in here. There's a bunch of extra things it feels like. Oh, this this'll be this will be particularly interesting. Let's see if I can find okay. Found the pin. I like to do the pin first when I can. <laughs> Not excited about what the subject matter of my pin is, but uh, I appreciate the pin um, because it's well done. So it's just not my item. Never got into these. Uh, it's a Furby pin. <laughs> do people remember Furbies? Those things are so creepy and stupid. Um, especially when you look back on it. Furbies were idiotic. And now what's the big thing? The Hatchimals I heard about. Those things also look stupid. Um, <laughs> I don't know. At any rate. Uh, but here, here's the thing. Like, no matter what the design of these pins are, they're always really well made. Um, great quality. I mean, they just look good. And that's the case with this Furby one. Like, it looks like a Furby. It looks like, you know, how it should be. But I just... I don't like Furbies, man. I wonder what the other possibilities were. Is there a Tamagotchi, potentially? Or was that in the 2000s? Was that still 90s? Maybe it was still 90s. I don't remember. All right, next thing. Got this weird-shaped thing. Boston Creative Company. Boston Creative Products. I don't know what this is. Is it a silverware? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, so it's a spoon... Um, it's an actual spoon, like, it's a spoon, it's a legit spoon, it's metal, like, I can use this, and it says, it says on the actual, uh, concave part of it, um, no soup for you, which, okay, now I need to explain, oh, man, there's so much reflection on that, but I don't know if you can, like, kind of see that it says no soup for you, I'll just move it, see, if you can't really see, you just have to trust me. Um, I like the idea of this. This is a very outside of the box, no pun intended, type uh, product. But I personally, once again, it's well done. It's a good reference, all that. I know it's a reference to Seinfeld. Hate Seinfeld. Sorry, you can feel free to, to lambaste me in the comments about that. Hate Seinfeld. It's not because the writing isn't good. The writing is good. I know Larry David created it. He did a lot of the writing on it. I know the writing's good. I can't stand Jerry Seinfeld. I have a, a big problem. I just cannot watch Jerry Seinfeld. His whole, like, what's with that? Oh, uh, what's with that? Like, all the time, it gets so annoying to me. I cannot stand Jerry Seinfeld. I'm sorry. 
For that reason, I hate the show Seinfeld. I just cannot watch it. Not a big fan. But this is a good item, and I know a lot of people who do like Seinfeld, so it was smart for them to do that. I might give this to someone who I know is a really big fan. Um, but I also will say, uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm, which was also done by Larry David, I am a fan of that. That is a very well-written show, and it is a very good show. So it's not about the writing or anything. It's Jerry. To hate Jerry. But the No Soup For You reference is good. The next thing is like squishy. It's like some sort of like plushy or something. Oh my god. It's a it's straight up it's a beanie baby. Holy crap. Kind of never wanted one of these ever. Um, once again I understand you know 90s and it makes sense. It's a, it's a pelican. You know that's what it looks like. Look at that. It's a pelican beanie baby. Legit you know T.Y. company whatever. What's this one's name? I know. Oh, Scoop. Makes sense. Scoop. From 1996. 96. Just another <laughs> another item. Not a bad idea. I don't like it. So <laughs> it's not for me. It's not my thing. And next thing. Feels like a hockey puck, kind of. It feels like a hockey puck. And I'm into hockey. It is a hockey puck, actually. Holy crap. Nice. Oh, man. that's This is actually awesome. I do really like this item because I'm a hockey fan and I'm also a fan of this. Uh, so this is signed by one of the guys who was in Mighty Ducks. Uh, it was signed by Matt Dougherty. Let me probably take it out to better show you. Um, so here you go. Legit. There's the signature. You can see it's an actual signature. It has BAM on the other side of the puck and then it has the card uh, the certificate of authenticity it has the picture of the guy from the mighty ducks i remember him i remember that face i didn't remember him by name but matt dowdy um get a better look at this guy do you guys remember this guy from mighty ducks you remember this guy i do this is cool i like this is a good signed item and it's so once again, like I like to say, it's such an outside-the-box item. And like the spoon, the spoon's super outside the box. So that's one of the great things about BAM boxes, how creative they are with coming up with different things to get signed. A lot of these other boxes, they just, you know, it's like it's always going to be prints or it's always going to be a glossy from a movie. Like they don't have much creativity when it comes to, the, to, the, to those types of things. But super outside the box for BAM box. I think there might be one more item. I don't know, but it's in a tube. So, I'm sort of assuming this is the art print. Ooh. Looks like mine's a little messed up on one side. Tad bit. Showdown in cyberspace. <laughs> this is actually pretty funny. So, it's a fight card poster, basically, you know, for like uh, UFC style or like boxing. And it's Machine against uh, against the man, Agent Smith versus Mr. Anderson, a.k.a. Neo. Um, obviously a reference to um, The Matrix, which was a big deal in the 90s, obviously. Let's see if I can get... Show you a bit of how that looks like really dark, because I'm like blocking all the light pretty much. But you can get a good sense of how it is. See? Um... But it says, Celebrity Fight Match, the Oracle in, associate, in association with a simulated reality system presents Showdown in Cyberspace. No home TV, direct from ringside. All the money is in yen. So I guess this is in, like, China. It looks like it's in yen. Uh, 15 rounds of nonstop boxing action, plus additional thrilling fights featuring Morpheus versus the Merovingian. Uh, it's like wiping my ass with silk. I love it. That was one of his lines, the Merovingian. That's the best line from all Matrix films. And Trinity versus the twins. Everyone remembers those white-haired, dreadlock, shade-wearing, white trench coat twins uh, who were actually supposed to be based off, like, werewolves or something for some reason. Anyway, live from inside the shared false reality, doors open at system reboot. Clever. This is clever. This is fun. Um, one of my edges looked a little... Yeah, it's a little bent there, but not that bad. It's not a big deal. It's cool. Oh, it's signed, too. I didn't notice that. You can see right there. It kind of blends into everything else. It's signed. 
uh, by the artist, which I'm assuming that information will be in the spoiler booklets. But for now, I'm going to roll that up and put it in here. One of the things I don't like about rolled up things, it's hard to get them flat. Uh, and the other thing that always gets me is whenever they roll it, they roll it with the image on the inside. I prefer it to be rolled with the image on the outside because if you're trying to um, hang it up, it's much easier to get something to stay on a wall if it's trying to fold against the wall as opposed to fold out from the wall. So I would prefer if you roll it the other way, whoever, you know, whatever box is doing it. Um, so just a you know, small thing for me personally. But anyway, I think that was it. Um, good stuff. Oh, and this is the certificate of authenticity for, I guess, the, the, um, look, the um, poster thing, which is cool. Um, well executed box. Uh, let's see what else was in here. All right. So, oh man. Oh, every single pin <laughs> other than the one I got was super cool. Um, so they basically had, oh, two of them were limited edition and they were like high top sneakers, which was totally a big thing during the nineties and funny. And one of them, this would have been my favorite, even though it wasn't a limited one, super soaker. Um, super soakers were great. I had a super soaker that looked exactly like that. Super awesome. So you see there's the Furby, there's two different limited edition versions of the high tops and the super soaker, which is clearly the coolest of all of those pins. Man, I wish I got that Super Soaker. I know I can trade for them uh, through their forum, but it's a lot of work for something like that. I'll just stick with the Furby. I have a cork board that I put all my pins on. It'll just get lost with all the other pins. All right, so the next thing, they had the Beanie Babies. Um, commons and Rares, apparently. What was Rare? <laughs> um, I don't know how we're supposed to verify, like if these are rare or not, honestly. Um, okay, so... Mm, 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 mm. They tracked down collectors all over the country to find actual Beanie Babies with 90s tags on them. That's what it said. Look for some rares to show up in certain boxes valued at $50 or more. Well, I don't... I'm not a Beanie Baby connoisseur. Can you, like, give me a hint in here, please? Which ones are rare? I'm going to guess that Scoop is not... Or maybe he is, because he's not even pictured in here. Or maybe that was just kind of like a stock-type photo. There was just like, I mean, it would be stuff like this. So it was like a flamingo, a shark, a teddy bear, and a gorilla. I'm sorry, the lighting's also getting crappy. I'm sorry about that. Um, and then they have the official puck signed by Matt Dougherty. So everyone had it signed by Matt Dougherty. And it looks like the uh, more rare version of it. Was it signed in gold as opposed to the silver one? So I got silver, and then there was a gold signing. Um, yeah, he played Lester Aberman in the Mighty Ducks movies. Was he in, were there three of them? Maybe even four of them. I don't remember. I wonder how many he was in. I know he was definitely in the first two. Maybe he was in all of them, because I don't think he's done anything else, to be honest. But there you can just see, you know, silver, gold, whatever. That's cool. Uh, then there were the celebrity fight match posters, and there were, oh, there were a few different versions of that, which is cool. They had the Agent Smith versus Neo one, which I got. They had, um, Zach Morris versus AC Slater. Dude, that's the one I wanted. I was a huge Save by the Bell fan. Huge Save by the Bell fan. Uh, and then they had, um, Dr. Evil versus Austin Powers, which is also cool. Um, you can see there, kind of see there how... This was the Dr. Evil Austin Powers back here. It's hard to see the Zach Morris and um, AC Slater. Just so hard to see. You can kind of see their faces uh, from that. And then the one that I already showed you that I got. Cool idea once again. And then the No Soup For You Custom Soup Spoon. You're pushing your luck, little man. Um, yeah, so it's it just basically breaks down. It's a spoon with that quote from Seinfeld on it. So, next month's theme is Indestructible, which sounds like it could be awesome. Um, I like the themes that Bambox has been doing. They've hit a lot of cool stuff. Uh, overall, I would say this has not been my favorite Bambox, but I would say it's probably one of the best Bamboxes. Now, I can't say that. 
I, I would say it's a very good band box, um, depending on what you got in it and how you feel about those things. You take away people's preferences for certain things or certain items or versions of items in this, and it was awesome. It was very well done. Um, it's just for me, I got unlucky where don't care about Beanie Babies at all. Don't Didn't want the Furby one because I hate Furbies. The Soup Spoon because I hate Seinfeld, and I was... Like, cool design on the uh, the Matrix one, but, you know, I would have rather had the Save by the Bell. That would have been pretty fun. Um, but I did really like the hockey puck, the signed hockey puck. That's cool because being a person who loves hockey, and I watch Mighty Ducks quite a bit, that's cool. So anyway, um, thanks everyone for checking out this unboxing. Thank you, Bambox, for being as cool and interesting as you are, which you always are. And, uh, yeah, until next time, everybody, keep it brutal.